watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you and um, and also let's look ahead to 2018 which is going to be another powerful year. I feel very very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening as we know are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels and if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading then you know just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding and for you it might be that you you've changed at home or you've changed your changed your job or you relationships around you are changing family circumstances are changing things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way and um, and you're wondering why why things are changing and maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers maybe things just seem very smooth for you but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic anyway this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune. So where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us, there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook live as well soon long promised and I'll leave a link under the video as well and that's it I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis so it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign so I think that's everything have a fantastic year and if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share um, ideas and... and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace, and I'll speak to some of you soon. 
Hi Capricorn, welcome to your 2018 year ahead reading and it's going to be a fantastic year, I'm just kind of feeling that for you. I know it's going to be a really interesting and powerful year for all of us, it's going to be a very exciting year for many of us and I've just got a feeling for you it's going to be very, very, very exciting and very interesting. I'm sensing a lot of movement for you somehow a lot of movement and I'm not sure what that's to do with whether you're moving house whether you're moving countries whether you're moving something within yourself just shifting whether you're actually a dancer or you know I know you won't all be but you know there's something to do with movement here and I just want to reassure you that this is going to be the year to go with the flow of that movement and not hold back so that's what I'm feeling intuitively now with the astrology you've had Saturn in your 12th house for the last few years so it's really been testing your faith really been testing your faith really been teaching you about um, old stories old karmic stories that you needed to let go of it could be you know things that you're not even aware of old patterns in yourself in your family in your relationships 12th house, house is very much about spirituality and karma but it can be very much about the nebulous the things we can't quite get hold of you can't quite understand it's like i've just got a feeling about this i've just got a feeling that something's going on that i don't have the whole picture or i've just got a feeling that this is something i've got to work out or i've just got to trust i've just got to trust and go forward and and things will be okay there's been a lot of that a lot of testing of your faith and of teaching you how to trust yourself and when you can have faith and when it's time to be much more solid and, and structured in your thinking and planning. And I feel that you've had quite an exciting and interesting rather time as a result of all those tests of faith. I feel that it's brought you into being a little bit more insular in some cases in that you've had to rely so much on your faith and on yourself and on on those spiritual forces that you've had a tremendous amount of spiritual growth and spiritual awareness develop and now Saturn's moving into your sign all of that growth and development will give you the spiritual resources that you need for this transit which is all going to be about growing your self-awareness growing your understanding of yourself okay so you will don't worry you will have everything that you need you will have the resources that you need this will be an education this will be about a real maturity Saturn's in your sign you really really come to understand who you are what you're about and you know sometimes sometimes you have to make changes you have to make big changes and big compromises in your life in order to make life work but you will have the education of your life okay so you've got that to look forward to you also have jupiter leaving your 10th house and going into your 11th house so last year your 10th house will have been expanded so the area of career and legacy and understanding what you came here to do understanding you know how you want to present yourself out on the world stage all of those areas would have seen some growth or development or at least an increase in your understanding of them and now it's going to be much more about community how you reach out to your community what does community mean to you how where do you fit into the wider community what is your community who are your peeps who are your your tribe who do you, what community do you feel comfortable in you know and that might include um, you know which country do you feel good in what what town do you feel good in what what job do you feel good in you know who's really your family what what do you where do you feel safe where do you feel good where do you feel nurtured where do you feel you can make the greatest contribution where do you feel that you can experience the flow of giving and receiving and where do you feel that you can um, have a foundation that acts as the greatest platform from which you can give to the world because the 11th house is also you know the altruistic house the is the Aquarian house it's about wanting to be a part of a wider vision for society transforming society altruism philanthropy all of those things so all of that will be expanded now in your reality you'll be wondering how can you take what you've learned about career and legacy forward now into um, developing your 
wider community aspirations. So you'll be doing that and you'll be working on yourself at the same time. So it's going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, and so let's have a quick look at the cards and see what the cards say for you. I'm going to do a past, present and future um, spread from the tarot. And um, then I'm going to see what else I feel guided to use for your year ahead. Okay, so you've got hope that's just popped out and I'm going to stop shuffling there. So you've become more hopeful. You've become more hopeful as a result of all the trials and challenges that you've been through because you've realised how strong you are and that you can come through anything. You can come through absolutely anything. And, you know, you, what you've learnt in the last few years will be with you for the rest of your life, will be valuable to you for the rest of your life because your deep spiritual underpinnings have been explored in a very mature way and now you have come to a great deal of spiritual maturity and understanding about who you are and what the world is and what life actually is about what's important to you, what's important in life as well and this gives you a great deal of hope for the future. So, 12th house can also be a card of self-reliance. So you have become very, very strong and very um, self-contained as well. Okay, so the past, the present, the future. Okay, so it feels as if in the past you may have been asked to make a lot of sacrifices. There's been a lot of things suspended for you. Like you haven't really been able to either... It's either to do with putting down roots or feeling comfortable in a relationship, feeling that it can be established in the way that you want it to be, or feeling like you're in the right job or that you can get promotion or move ahead. It's like you're always feeling that you're having to sacrifice something, like you sacrifice your independence because you're not getting the love that you want without having to give up an awful lot, or you sacrifice um, where you living where you really want to live because you need to be close to this job that's more sensible and practical, or you sac there's been some element of sacrifice there. And at the moment, there's some mental conflict about what to do about that because you're on this cusp of more change and you're thinking well I might have to make a decision not to be quite so self-sacrificing now if I'm to get what I want which is to make a contribution in the world to feel happy and safe while doing it to feel loved and to feel a, a real sense of being valued in the world so you may be moving on from something that may be one of the big elements that takes place throughout at some point in this year you're not in a hurry to do it you don't have to be in a hurry to do it but i feel that you'll come into the beginning of the year thinking about that where have i been too self-sacrificing what do i need to change what do i need to do in order to go you know go for my own real and full happiness so let's look at the year in sections the beginning the middle and the end of the year 2018 for capricorn what does Capricorn most need to know about the beginning, middle and end of 2018? And remember, this is just a guide that everything depends on the actions that you take, the choices that you make, and your own ability to take responsibility as a creative, manifesting um, being who's in charge of your own destiny. So, the beginning of the year, take your power back. There you go, you see, look at that right under the self-sacrificing thing. It's as if your hands are tied and that's, it's been that way for too long now. And it's time for you to release, look at this, Archangel Raziel, arms outstretched, say, literally saying, I'm free, <laughs> I'm free, my, my hands aren't bound, are they? I'm free, I'm free to do as I please, I'm free to go where I choose, I'm free to express myself fully and to the best of my ability. We. We only get this life once, you know, as far as we know. Okay, there may be parallel selves living this out in, in other universes, but it's still going to be different because they'll be having different experiences. You will not get this life, this opportunity right now again. No matter how many other lives you, you have, what, whatever you believe, this particular time and space and potentiality will not come again. Take your power back. So that's what the beginning of the year is going to be about. 
you're going to be thinking, what is it? What changes do I need to make in order to take my power back? Am I being inventive enough in my thinking? You know, what is it that makes me feel I have to stay with my hands tied? What could I do? What tweaks and changes could I make? What opportunities are being offered that I'm refusing to see and refusing to take because I'm, this has become a habitual thing for me now. I'm used to being self-sacrificed self-sacrificing, I'm used to feeling as if my hands are tied. If you look closely, you'll see her, her hands aren't really tied at all. And there's always hope. The hope that shines through here. There's a rainbow in this picture, there's a rainbow in that picture, you know? And the rainbow was, um, well, in the traditional biblical terms, the rainbow was sent to, to Noah to let him know that there was never going to be that kind of intense um, suffering and destruction again at that level. So take that as you will, it's just something that's being pointed out to me. Okay, so in the middle part of your um, year, you are going to be leaning on your spiritual understanding. You're going to be wanting to almost give thanks for what you've learnt in the past few years about your own capacity to be strong and to spirit to grow spiritually to lean on your own inner strength and to become stronger and you may find yourself turning towards um spiritual development spiritual study uh, something something of that nature or just going back to some kind of structure or practice that you've let go before and you're just being asked to understand that life, you are here to live a full life, you're here to live a, a physical life, you're here to have experiences and to make mistakes and to learn and grow from those mistakes. And a spiritual life should support all of that. So don't escape into anything. Just, you know, take all the understanding that's coming because it's coming to enrich you. It's coming to give you even more understanding and to lift you up even more. But it's also there, you know, don't, don't, don't tell yourself off quite so much, okay? And moving into the future, fantastic. So this is where the excitement is. So, you're, you know, this whole, all the time leading up to it is going to be preparing you to, for exciting things that happen a little bit later on. That doesn't mean there aren't exciting things happening all the way along. There are. They start with you taking back your power. And they continue with you using your spiritual understanding to make new choices, make new decisions, to go after opportunities that are offered, to trust yourself to be able to see it through. And then to coming later on, having really clear intentions about your purpose and about what you're doing. And programs, I'm hearing starting up programs or starting something. There's some idea, something kind of in the background for you. But, you, you know, it's like you're going to go through the year learning how to trust it, how to trust yourself, and then bang, you're just going to go for it. So that looks amazing. And I'm still sensing that there's movement all the way through, even up to that point. So enjoy all of that. I'm being asked to pick one more card from this deck. Remember who you are. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Take back your power and remember who you are side by side. And I'm going to just shuffle to give you a colour theme for the year ahead as well from the um, colour cards. So remember who you are. You may have been a little bit lost in recent years. You may have lost direction a little tiny bit. You may be coming very, very clear about what needs to change. But the key to all of that, what's going to help you to make those decisions is just have a little bit of a meditation on who am I really? What do I really want to do? And therefore, what needs to change in order for me to do that? Okay? Um, be persistent. Okay. So when it comes to something that you're trying to achieve this year, the overall message for you, Capricorn, is to not give up at the first hurdle when things don't happen straight away. There may be something that you've tried and you've not tried quite enough yet. So, for example, if you'd sent out three C CVs or, um, you know, 30 CVs, maybe you need to send out 300. <laughs> In other words, the message is don't give up and don't assume it's not the right thing just because it hasn't fallen into place. Sometimes we take that on a little bit too much. Well, if it was meant to be, it would have happened. But you're being asked to take the opposite view. You're being asked to be persistent. 
if it's something you really, really, really want and you really, really, really feel in your heart and in your gut and in your soul that it's the right thing for you and you will get there, okay? Crystal clear intentions will get you there. All right, take care Capricorn. Have a fantastic year. And if you want to book a personal reading, I'm doing my personal year ahead readings now and they will be specifically for you individually looking at your energy, reading your energy, talking to your guides and mine about what's you know coming or answering any questions that you might want to ask because it's just guidance, remember. We're not telling you, we're not predicting the future. Everything depends on the actions that you take and how much you see this through. That's where the fulfillment of the promises come from, okay? Everything depends on you and your self-belief, your belief in your goals and your ability to take the actions to see it through, okay? To see them through. All right, take care, good luck with everything and hopefully um, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.